Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a PowerPoint which has a background music or a theme music and still allows you to put a narration in to each individual slide that's different. All right. Um, typically, if you try to put more than one sound in the background, it's going to immediately stop and we'll go on to the next slide. So what I'm going to do is, first thing we're going to do is show you how to insert a slide. Now, first thing I want you to understand, you notice I have three slides, okay? Um, I've already put the text box in. I would like to point out these are original images. I think that's a good thing. Um, you guys should try to get some original images of your own. Go, go through the family album, see if there's something to scan. All right. I will be showing you some image editing properties a little bit later on. The first thing we're going to do is how do we insert the background sound? So obviously you go up to insert, movies and sound, and drag over to sound from a file. And I entitled my from, if you remember. And I yes, I do want it to play automatically. And you notice it comes up as a little tiny icon. I'm going to drag it a little bit just so you guys can see it. Now what I have to do is I have to put in a custom animation. All right, so I want this to play, but I also want, if you notice these two things, it says, do you want to pause the slideshow? No, I want to continue the slideshow, and I want to play for three slides. Now, in your case, you'll probably have 15, 20 slides. You're going to have to play for the entire thing. All right, um, again, you may actually want it to loop. That may, that may be necessary, um, I think, under effects. Uh, there may be an option. I believe there is an option. There we go. Under more options, you may want to loop until stop. If you only have a 60 second clip and it runs over, you don't want the music to just die. So you may want to go into that and have it loop. Okay. Now let's see what happens if we play. Okay, so you can see that that plays nicely throughout the whole thing. Now, the next thing is I do have some words here, and this is what I found out is a simile because it is like the jerk of a chain. Okay, so what we're going to do is not a metaphor. So what we're going to do is, number one, I do want to put in a custom animation. I assume you people do know how to put in um, text animation. Okay, the text flies in from the left. You might want to do fade or something like that. However, one of the choices is, no sound okay right here is I don't want to have no sound I want to go down to other sound I'm not gonna have like gunshots or drum rolls or anything like that and I'm gonna use that text that I recorded previously okay about you know I recorded this so it actually spoke out, you know out loud alright so we're gonna click OK it was the careless powerful look he had in spite of a lameness checking each step like the jerk of a chain Okay, so there you are. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the slideshow. One last thing I'm going to suggest you might want to do is you may want to rehearse timings. Okay, so that it'll progress. On, you do need to get this uh, as a from Mrs. Quill if she wants it to just play or if she wants you to sit there clicking the button. I'm going to suggest you want this to to move forward on its own. So you will probably going to want to rehearse the timings. Okay, and you can do that under where it says View Slideshow. All right, but I'm just going to I'm going to do clicking. I'm just going to click the mouse for now. You guys are going to want to set for it to run the way you want it to run. All right, let's view the show. It was the careless powerful look he had in spite of a lameness checking each step like the jerk of a chain. Okay, so basically that's how you do it. All right, um, this is going to allow you to do the do um, both, uh, get everything to play automatically as as you want it.